Trinity B1 ISC1 Four Skills Test CELT Secure English Language Tests B1 English Test ISC1 Skilled Worker Health and Care Worker Scale-Up Worker Student Visas Okay. All right. Uh, this is Trinity College London ISC 1B1 reading test, long text reading. And now we are going to go through a long text reading. This carries five paragraphs. I am joined by Alina, Umat, and Mohan. Uh, we will read paragraph one first. So, um, but you will read paragraph one for me and explain it to me. What does it mean? Throughout history, humans have always run thousands of years ago. They run to hunt food in the 80s. Sports became an important part of children's education. After the modern Olympic began, later than century, athletes become famous. People admired them and wanted to be like them. However, until about 40 years ago, watching running races was more popular than running. Now this has changed. More and more people are recognizing the health benefits of exercise and are putting on their running shoes. Yes. This paragraph explains us uh, how humans running uh, starts to uh, pass to the future and uh, thousands of years ago uh, people run just for uh, hunting uh, and then in the 80s uh, running is become an important part of children's education or sports activities uh, and then after uh, modern Olympics in the century, athletes, uh, athlete being a famous, and most people uh, wanted to be like famous athletes, and so running is popular than uh, this type of attractions, uh, and most uh, most people uh, wants to be running because of the health benefits of exercise uh, and they are putting on their shoes, running shoes. Nowadays, uh, they are putting mm -hmm. on their running shoes. And, okay, this means uh, that they're making an effort these days, right? Or they're trying to do it. Okay, Um, I don't know if you guys know the word athletes or not. I'd like to ask Mohan. Mohan, do you know what is the meaning of athletes? I don't know, ma'am, this one. It's okay. It's for. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's sports. Yeah, any person who's a who's a sportsman is known as an athlete, right? A sports mm -hmm. person is called sorry, Angela, an athlete. I sorry, Angela, I can't hear you. I took a, a call, uh, but I can't hear you. Can I join again? Yeah, sure, you can. Okay. Okay, and Alina, do you understand athletes or not? No, ma'am. Athletes, who uh, banda hota hai, jo sportsman hota hai, theke? athlete. Okay. Jaise ke mein aur aap athlete nahi hai. We don't like sports aur hume sports karna bhi achha nahi lagta, theke? Okay. Ye yes, ek word hai, sportsman ke liye thoda upar English mein chala jata hai, usko bolte athlete. Okay. okay. Just keep that in mind. Yes. Okay. Then the word is admired. Who knows the meaning of admired? Mohan, what is admired? Admired is a new word. New word. For me. So one more thing, yeah. Mohan. If you, I know you have exam coming up, but it would be so nice if you have a notebook with you and you keep writing these new words because you will see those okay. words in your exam somewhere. Okay. Right. Yeah. So, who knows the meaning of admired? Uh, admired means... When you, like, 
when you like something you know when you really like something that is admire you know okay yes ma'am people like them people really really like them people admire them okay admire mohan do you understand yes. admire yes ma'am mohan do you understand hindi yes <laughs> oh. i i understand okay very nice all right uh, mm. what is recognizing recognizing who knows this word recognizing recognizing janna matlab kisi cheez ko yes that's right mohan recognize to know to know yes recognizing yeah. means to um to know the benefits of okay after that we've got uh, hunt food i don't know who knows the meaning of hunt food hunt food the urdu mein isko shikar bolte matlab kisi cheez ko pakad search hunt food yes hunt food yes that's fine okay one more time i would want uh, alina to read this for me alina read it uh paragraph 1 Uh, throughout history human have always run thousand of year ago they run to hunt food in the 1800 sport become an important part of children's education after the modern olympics began later that century athletics become famous people admired them and wanted to be like them however until about 40 year ago watching running races was more popular than running now this has changed more and more people are rec recognizing the health benefits of exercise and are putting on their running shoes okay re in here recognizing means that people know the no. value of health benefits now right this is no. what it means thank you yeah. so much for reading it for me mohan go for paragraph 2 and explain it to me it is a well known fact that exercise is good for you studies have shown shown that it can help prevent many types of ailments including heart disease disease and can cancer it will also help you live longer studies show that exercise can add up to 5 years to our your life of course there are many way to exercise running it is just one of them but running may have advantage over over other kinds of exercise for example one study showed that people who run more than 50 miles per week had more as the l cholesterol cal cholesterol good fat than people who did not run hmm. i explain this in uh, paragraphs hmm. uh, here is uh, first of all exercise is very important uh, and uh, and and we we exercise we uh, we exercise and you know the our problems uh, health issue also is gone like heart disease and cancer also and we help a longer life we are longer life in in world and we are run uh, 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 every who run every day 50 miles per week is cholesterol also gone and uh, people know uh, people know not exercise they are not go you know the not good health i think okay umat read it for me and explain it for me so alina you read beautiful paragraph 2 it is a well known fact that exercise is good for you studies have shown that it can help prevent many disease many types of illness including heart disease and cancer 
It will also help you live longer. Studies show that exercise can add up to five years to your life. Of course, there are many ways to exercise. Running is just one of them, but running may have advantages over other kinds of exercise. For example, one study showed that people who run more than 50 miles per week had more HDL cholesterol good fat than people who did not run. Uh, in this paragraph, ex exercise, when we do exercise, exercise is good for our uh, heart and uh, uh, it prevents us to heart disease and cancer and st in of course of course there are many ways so running is just one of them and uh, mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Okay. Good. So, do you know the meaning of prevent? Prevent. Is yes, that a new word for you? Prevent means to save, to avoid. Write yeah, this avoid, yeah. on your notebook. And Mohan, the word illness means sickness. Sickness. Yes, ma'am. Mohan, do you understand what is the meaning of illness? Sickness. Yeah. This, yeah. And this is disease. Anyways, you guys understand. There's nothing more in it. There's nothing difficult in it, in this part. Um, Umad, are you there? Can you hear me or not? I think you still can't hear me. Okay, now let's move to part three, paragraph three. I would want uh, Mohan to read paragraph three and explain it to me. Yeah. If you find you feel better after exercise, there are a good reason for it. Running makes your body release feel good, chemicals, uh, cult. I don't know this word is <laughs> in uh, e -N -D -O -C -A -N -N -A -B -I -N -O I think it is endocannabinoids, but I am not. Sure. No, I can do hmm. Yes. Fine. As a result, no matter who bad you feel, running will Cheer you up. In fact, at uh, 2012, a study found, found that just 30 minutes of running for a week for three weeks helped people sleep better and improve uh, their mood. Mm. And this paragraph three said, uh, We are running for 30 minutes per week uh, per week and exercise help our life uh, you know the sleep better and improve our mood i think mood is fresh and uh, and exercise is a good reason reason for our life and exercise make make the uh, uh, re release the feel our feel is uh, good uh, thank you ma'am oh, good job okay uh, umad read it once uh, read it once part of three yes three if you find you feel better after exercise there's a good reason for it running makes your body release feel good chemicals called endocannabinoids. As a result, no matter how bad you feel, running will cheer you up. In fact, 2012, study found that just 30 minutes of running per week for three weeks help people sleep better and improve their mood. Uh, if you feel yourself uh, better when you're running you have to you have to run and running makes your body 
uh, called endocannabinoids. Uh, it is getting uh, feel you better. Uh, as a result, uh, running will cheer up, cheer you up. Uh, and thirty minutes running per week for three days help you uh, more sleep better. Uh, Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is just a name of a chemical that you don't need to remember. Okay, so mm -hmm. let's move to paragraph four. Uh, uh, Alina. Alina or Anila? Alina. Alina. Alina, beautiful. Read paragraph four and explain it to me. Of course, as well as benefits, there are some downside to running. Many runners complain of problems with their knees. Running on road is especially damaging. Using a running machine at a gym is less harmful. If you do not warm up and stretch properly, your muscle will achieve. And running is especially risky is in hot weather if people do not drink enough water. Okay, Alina, what is the meaning of downside? Downside mean matlab. Hmm. Disadvantage. Okay. Advantage means good thing. Downside means a yes. negative disadvantage. Now, this is another word that's that is ache. What is this ache? This ache means pain. Okay. This word, A-C-H-E. -E. Like in normal English, that is called basic English, we say pain. But in B1 English, we call it ache. Ache means pain, like toothache, backache, headache, ache. You know, this is called ache, this is pain. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. All right. Um, yes. Mohan, go with paragraph five, please. Okay. Uh, if you are interested in taking up running, it's important to do uh, it properly and these types will help keep your head up. Look straight forward, not down at your feet. Relax your neck and shoulders. Hold your body tail uh, and lift your chest. And this will help you breath more easily. If you learn for forward, you will hunt hurt your lower back. Short distance runs lift uh, lift their necks to run. But for distance running, keep them low or your will. And you will use up all your energy. Yes, Umat, read it once. Part of life. If you are interested in taking up running, it's important to do it properly. And these tips will help. Keep your head up, look straight towards, not down at your feet. At your feet. Relax your neck and shoulders. Hold your body tall and lift your chest, as this will help you breathe more easily. If you lean toward, you will hurt your lower back. Short distance runners lift their knees to run, but for distance running, keep them low or you will use up your energy. Can you explain your... what does it mean? If you lean forward, I don't know. Relax your neck and shoulder. Lift your chest. Alina, read it. Go if you are. Mm -hmm. If you are interested in taking up running, it's it's important to do it properly. And these tips will help keep your head up, uh, look straight forward, not down at your feet, relax your neck and shoulder, hold your body tall and lift your chest as this will help you breathe more easily. If you lean forward, you will hurt your lower back, sport 
a short distance runner lift their knees to run but for distance runner running they keep them low or you will use up all your energy hmm 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 say something hmm Mm -hmm. Anyone who understands this can explain it. I think how to run these paragraphs, how to run. I understand this, uh, you know, the, we are running some time, how to run, you know, the, uh, everything is there, the chest, our chest and uh, shoulders and how just manage and running and we have easily for breath and uh, no pain. I just, I just want to Apologies. Mm -hmm. Lean forward only means like some people run like this. You know, leaning forward is like this. Lean means bending, bending forward, right? Bending. So do not, they're saying forward. do not bend forward, but rather like stretch your shoulders back and chest forward so that you can, uh, you know, lift your knees to run like that, right? So, um, mm -hmm. And that is the only thing. Lean is a new word for you. Maybe lean back. People say lean back. This means lay back. Uh, mm -hmm. Lean means bending, you know. So bending, uh, lean forward. Lean forward, like bend forward. Lean back, mm -hmm. bend backwards. This is what it means. Mm -hmm. I think other, other than that, there are no difficult words in this part. Now, we're going to go with the, the, remember in your exam also, make sure that you go with question 11 to 15 first. Right, because when you will uh, so I'll fill in the blanks first, that'll give you a lot of idea about the text. This was not a very difficult text, though. Let's try to find the answers now. Okay. Uh, if you know the answers, please send them to me secretly on WhatsApp. Okay. Um, hold on for a second. Do not tell your answer to your other partners in the class because otherwise some people might cheat. So now let's have a look at statement 11. Um, Umat, could you read statement 11 for me and uh, explain it to me? What do we have to find? And send me your answer secretly on WhatsApp. Just tell me in which paragraph it is mentioned. Statement 11, Umat. Let me take a picture of how Yes, these days most people choose to run because if you can open it on your WhatsApp also if you don't want to look at the screen. I will tell you mm. what statement to read. That's statement eleven. These days most people choose to run because of blank. In which paragraph it is mentioned? These days, most people choose to run because of what? Why do people run these days? These days means nowadays. Most, nowadays, most people choose to run because of the... Uh, which paragraph? Uh, yes, it is in paragraph one. Mm -hmm. But uh, don't tell me your answer. Just write it for me on WhatsApp. I'll check and let you know if it's correct or incorrect. I think you've already written okay. it. And your answer is correct for 11. Um, Mohan and Alina, please find your answer for statement 11. These days, most people choose to run because of what? Why do people want to run these days? It's given in paragraph 1. Yes. Uh, I sent it before. Yes, I will check uh, your answers and let you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Two of your answers are wrong. You can look for 12 and 14th once again. 
Okay. Alina, now this has changed. More and more people are recognizing the health benefits of exercise and they are putting on their running shoes. That's why they are choosing to exercise. So what will come in the blank? Please send me your answers on WhatsApp. Mm, it's 11, ma'am. Yes, 11. The area that I have highlighted, yes, correct answer, Mohan. Correct answer. Alina, aap ko mila hai answer? Peach, acha. Peach is the peach. Okay, more. Okay, Alina, the answer is this that nowadays days more people are recognizing means they know these days people know the value of health benefits. That's why they are exercising. Right? So that's why they are running. That's why they are putting on their running shoes. So the answer is this, health benefits. Health benefits. This health. Health. Health benefits. Okay. B-E-N-E-F-I-T-S. Health benefits. Okay, now 12th statement. People who exercise can live blank, blank longer than people who do not. This is very easy. People who exercise can live more. How much more than people who do not? Please send me your answers on WhatsApp. Mm. Okay. We need how much? We need how yes. much more? Yes, how much more? It's in paragraph two. Yes. Please send me your answer secretly on WhatsApp. Lina, people who exercise can... Uh, one word you've written extra. Umat, the correct answer is just this. A uh, correct answer, okay. Mohan. Uh, Alina, can you find the answer or not? No, ma'am. Beautiful. Likha hai ke people who exercise, mm -hmm. jo log exercise karte hain, wo zada ji sakte hain. Live blank longer. Kitna zada lamba ji sakte hain. Wo yahan pe likha hua can add up to five years to your life. Mm -hmm. Thik yes, hai? So the answer years. is five years. Yes, ma'am. It's okay. Aapne, you can read again, okay? In your free time, just understand how to do this and then you will learn. Okay, now let's move to statement 13th now. That says stretching. First of all, you can find the word stretching. Stretching will prevent you from getting pains in your what? You can find the name of that body part that stretching will help you prevent. Prevent, matlab, it will save you uh, from uh, getting pains in your blank. And I think it is given in the paragraph... Um, Stretching, stretching, stretching. Uh, I read it somewhere. Here it is. If you... Yes. Muscles will ache. Will ache. Muscle. If Your you muscles do not will stretch properly. Yeah, if you do not warm up and stretch properly, your muscles mm. will ache. Into... So you guys need to tell me, stretching will prevent you from getting pains in your blank, you know. In which body part you will not get pain if you will stretch? Muscle and... Mohan, what do you say? I just see now. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
नो ब्यूटिफुल अलीना इट कैन बी एक एक का तो मतलब पेन होता है ना एक तो बॉडी पार्ट नहीं होता ना मसल्स होते हैं बॉडी का पार्ट ठीक है वो बोल रहा है स्ट्रेच करने की वजह से कौन सा ऐसा दर्द है देखिए ना पेन तो उसने पहले ही लिख दिया है अपॉलोजीज ओ मात यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड हिंदी पर आई एम जस्ट यूजिंग इट फॉर अलीना आई एम रियली सॉरी अबाउट दैट ओके सो पेन्स पेन इज ऑलरेडी हियर ब्यूटीफुल पेन मींस एक not that yeah, okay. you will not write that part so you will just write in here mohan what would you write in here no muscles. i don't see now muscles muscles mohan understanding or not if you do not no. warm up and stretch properly agar aap yeah. stretch nahi karte theek hai to kya ho jata hai muscle pain hoti hai lekin yahan pe usne paraphrase kiya hua hai paraphrase kiya hua hai ki stretching will prevent you from getting pains in your muscles mm-hmm. paraphrase muscles samajh rahe kya hota hai anyone who doesn't understand paraphrase i just want to explain something to you right now if i say okay do you everybody knows cobra do you know what is a cobra yes cobra snake yes cobra is the most deadly snake snake that attacks suddenly that attacks attacks suddenly okay now anila uh, anila not alina and uh, mohan ab samjhe ki ye hamare paas paragraph mein information di hui hai theek hai cobra is mm-hmm. is the most cobra is the most uh cobra is the most deadly snake that attacks suddenly aapko pata hai ki wo jab blank likhta hai na to he paraphrase it you know he will paraphrase hmm. it jo examiner hai wo usko paraphrase paraphrase kya hota hai jaise main aapko bolu you look handsome and i also say that you look charming or i say this boy is very charming matlab to wohi hai na matlab to nahi hmm. banta yes. ab isme agar main aapko ek idea dene lagi hu kis type ke paraphrase hote hain pehla type hota hai ki examiner is word ka synonym aapko dega like most deadly synonym iska dega फिर अटैक का सिनेनम दे सकता है सडनली का सिनेनम दे सकता है लेट्स ट्राई टू राइट राइट अ स्टेटमेंट इन हियर कोबरा इज द लेट्स गो विद द वर्ड मोस्ट हार्मफुल लेट्स गो विद द इजीएस्ट वर्ड लाइक लाइक डेंजरस इज द इज द मोस्ट डेंजरस डेंजरस स्नेक अ दैट लेट्स गो विद द वर्ड स्ट्राइक If you don't like the word strike, let's go with the word kills, right? Kills, yes. um, kills all of a sudden, all of a sudden. Like I'm writing this thing in here. You can read and tell me: Is there any difference in the meaning of both? Is there any difference? Mm. No. Copper Alina, is dangerous. Very dangerous. Iska mm. first sentence ka, dusre sentence ka koi difference hai meaning ka. लेकिन वर्ड्स चेंज किए ठीक है अब अब क्या होगा कि एग्जामिनर इसको भी मैं अभी काट दूंगी इसको अब मैं आपको एक ब्लैंक बना के दूंगी आपने फिल इन द ब्लैंक करना है ठीक है ओके the most dangerous uh dangerous snake that blank suddenly uh, blank all of a sudden is blank okay write the answer exact word number or phrase you have to think that this is your original line that is cobra is the most deadly snake that attacks suddenly aapne fill in the blank karni hai exact word or number se theek hai write me the answer on whatsapp please do blank se isme first blank mein kya aayega aur second blank mein kya aayega
Uh, anyone who already knows the answer can send it to me. Okay. Uh, no, exact word. That was just an example of uh, um, synonyms, right? Right now, the context that you have in front of you is just this statement that says cobra is the most deadly snake that attacks them. Okay? Um, uh, your name is Umat. Umat, uh, keep the reference yeah. in mind. That is on top. Your one answer is correct, but one is wrong. Yes, so Uh, yes. So, uh, Umat, your answer is correct now, okay? Okay, thank you. Um, no. Um, uh, Mohan, aapke dono, dono galat hai answer. Aapne, kya karna hai? Aapne ye pehla wala point mind mein rakhi na? Wo to mene sirf aapko samjha hai ke, in case the examiner is going to paraphrase for you, uski scheme kya hoti hai? Wo words ko change kar deta hai. ठीक है लेकिन सेकंड टाइम भी मैंने उसका पैराफ्रेज ही आपको करके दिखाया है ठीक है अब आप बताएं कि ये गलत है आपके दोनों रॉन्ग है अनिला अनिला अलीना अलीना सेंड मी योर आंसर्स मैं मुझे नहीं समझ आ रही थी इसकी देखिए ना यहां पे आपने सेम चीज बोलनी है अब मोस्ट देखिए यहां पे कोबरा कोबरा इज द मोस्ट क्या है Cobra is the most deadly. Cobra is the most deadly. Ab dekhe, cobra, the most dangerous snake that. Phir se main usi, main phir usi, usi statement pe wapis jaungi jo maine pehle likhi thi. Thik hai? Ab isko bolte hai, excellent paraphrase dekhe. Main yahan pe usi statement ko wapis likhungi. Maine kya likha tha? Cobra is the most. Cobra is the most. Uh, most dangerous snake that kills all of a sudden. All of a sudden. Okay? Okay. Now, if I fill in the blank, then I will tell you that it is the same or different. Here I will write attacks. 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 अब आप मुझे तीनों स्टेटमेंट पढ़ के बताएं दैट इज इट सेम और डिफरेंट सेम है मैम अब मैंने ये सिर्फ ये वाला जो सेकंड आपको बताया ना दैट इज जस्ट टू टेल यू दैट द एग्जामिनर कैन यूज सिनेनम्स उसने मोस्ट डेडली की जगह यूज किया मोस्ट डेंजरस ठीक है ये सिर्फ आपको समझाने के लिए था अब मैंने इस चीज को रिमूव कर दिया मैं इस चीज को नहीं ला रही बीच में ठीक है आप इसको रिमूव कर दें ये तो आपको एक एग्जांपल दी थी ना अब बात ये कि इसका और इसका सेम मीनिंग नहीं है उसने और उसको पैराफ्रेस कर दिया उसने बोला है मैं बोलती हूँ कि आई ईट एन एप्पल सो अगर मैं ये बोल दू एन एप्पल इज ईटन बाय मी तो मतलब तो वही रहेगा ना मतलब तो नहीं बदलेगा ना समझ आ रही है आप यहाँ पे उसने बोला कोबरा इज द मोस्ट डेडली स्नेक अटैक सडनली The most dangerous snake that attacks all of a sudden is cobra. Okay. आपने exact word uh, fill in the blanks में लिखना था, 
ठीक है तो जो सेम मीनिंग देता है लेकिन आपने मिसिंग वर्ड बीच में डालना मोहन डू यू अंडरस्टैंड और नॉट यस मैम ओके आई विल गिव यू वन मोर ओके दिस टाइम डू नॉट बी कंफ्यूज जस्ट वन मोर आई आई ट्राई टू गिव यू वन मोर ओके हम ओके फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई से पियानो piano is a is a very hard instrument to play okay piano is a very hard instrument to play now i'm going to give you something to fill in the blank um the most uh difficult uh blank to play to learn is blank okay i'll just give you one blank so that you can yeah okay now tell me what will come in the blank instrument 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 yes yeah. that's right samajh aaya aapko aise hi exact word ab agar aap yahan pe dekhenge na stretching will prevent you from getting pains ab baat hai ki usne pain word use nahi kiya usne uska synonym use kiya lekin baat to wohi hai theek hai yahan pe agar wo bol raha hai people who exercise can live longer लंबा जी सकते हैं कितनी देर लंबा जी सकते हैं ये तो चलो एक क्वेश्चन है यहाँ पे नाउ द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज रिसर्च शोज दैट रेगुलर लाइट एक्सरसाइज कैन मेक पीपल ब्लैंक एंड फील हैप्पीयर नाउ यू कैन लुक फॉर द वर्ड हैप्पीयर ओके यू कैन लुक फॉर द वर्ड लाइक गुड मूड हैप्पीयर एनी सिनेम ऑफ हैप्पीयर ऑल्सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल लाइट एक्सरसाइज रेगुलर make people so in which paragraph is it mentioned paragraph 3 paragraph 3 okay write me your answer secretly on whatsapp ki research show karta hai ki jo log thodi exercise light karte hain acha feel karte hain aur kya dekhi ek cheez to usne main bata di and feel happier iske iske ilawa bhi ek cheez hai jo wo hoti hai unke sath wo aapne find kar liye yahan se You can write me your answers on WhatsApp, please, because I don't want uh, Alina to cheat. That's all. Um, where could it be, Umat? Where is it mentioned? Research shows that regular light exercise can make people blank and feel happier. Research shows that regular light exercise can make people cheer you up means happy. ओके शेयर यू अप मींस हैप्पी 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 ओके द आंसर इज गिवन इन इन दिस इंप्रूव्ड मूड इज आल्सो फीलिंग हैप्पी सो वन पॉइंट इज गिवन टू अस दैट इज फीलिंग हैप्पीयर व्हाट इज द अदर पॉइंट दैट इफ यू स्लीप रेगुलरली यू गेट अ लाइट एक्सरसाइज इट कैन मेक पीपल व्हाट You can't write the same word with the same meaning, right? Like you can't write that. The answer, you can't, hmm? the answer is in the third paragraph. Yeah, the answer is in the third paragraph. The highlighted part, uh, green highlighter. So, ah, let me check. Yes, your answer is right, Mohan. Correct. Thank you. Hmm. Anyone else? Research shows that regular light sleep can make people 
question mark, one thing, and feel happier. Feel happier is one aspect that is given by the examiner already. We need to find another thing that happens to people if they get a regular good night's sleep. No, feel good, no. Feel good ka matlab hi happy hota hai. Aap same cheez nahi likh sakte. Apple, apple nahi likh sakte. Wo aap se kuch different hi puchhe ka. Na same cheez to nahi puchhe. Sleep better. Yes, that is correct. Sleep better. Okay. Uh, Alina, can you see that in here? Her week three weeks helped people sleep better. One aspect is sleep better. Second one is good mood. Happy. Okay, cheer up. Understanding or not? No, ma'am. Good job. Very nice. Alina, they say two things. And ka matlab hota hai na do cheese. Aap mujhe kehti hai, I like cakes and. Iska matlab hai ki ek aur cheez bhi aapko pasand hai jo aap mujhe bata nahi rahi. Theek hai na? And tabhi use hota hai jab aage ek aur cheez hoti hai. Ab usne hame ek baat bata di hoti hai feel happier. Ab feel happier yahan pe agar aap jayengi to matlab same hai. Mood acha kya hota hai? Happy hota hai na wo. Cheer up ka bhi matlab happy hota hai. To iska matlab hai happy ya mood good ye nahi hum likh sakte. Kyunki ye to usne already diya hua hai humme. Find karna hai missing word phrase or phrase in the text. Hame jo usne nahi diya hua wo find karna hai. Theek hai? तो क्या लिखेंगे और क्या होता है स्लीप बेटर राइट स्लीप स्लीप बेटर अब देखिए मैं आपको एक सिंपल एग्जांपल देने लगी हूँ लीना अगर मैंने आपको फ्रूट्स के नाम दिए हुए हैं दस ठीक है वी हैव फ्रूट्स नेम्स इन हियर टेन फ्रूट्स तो मैं आपको फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स में कुछ भी दे सकती हूँ ग्रेप्स भी दे सकती हूँ ऑरेंजेस भी दे सकती हूँ क्योंकि जो वहां पर नहीं लिखा जिसका ब्लैंक दूंगी वो आपको ढूंढ के लिखना पड़ेगा कौन सा वर्ड नहीं दिया तो समझ आ रही जी तो ऑब्वियसली हैव टू टेक इट फ्रॉम द टेक्स्ट हमें टेक्स्ट के अंदर से अब अब मैंने स्ट्रॉबेरी लिखा हुआ है ऑलरेडी उसमें तो ब्लैंक में आप स्ट्रॉबेरी लिख देंगे तो वो तो गलत हो जाएगा ना क्योंकि वो तो ऑलरेडी मैंने आपको दिया हुआ है आपने तो मिसिंग फ्रूट फाइन करना है ना कि कौन सा दस में से एक फ्रूट का नाम नहीं दिया हुआ होगा वो ब्लैंक हो समझ आया आपको जी सही सही बताए मैं फिर बता दूंगी समझ आ गया फिर वो थोड़ा कोई बात नहीं इट्स ओके इट्स ओके फाइन इट टेक टाइम ओके लास्ट वन इज होल्डिंग योर नेक फाइन दर्ड नेक शोल्डर्स एंड बॉडी करेक्टली विल हेल्प यू टू किस चीज में हेल्प करेगा विल हेल्प यू टू वॉट होल्डिंग अप योर नेक shoulders and body correctly will help you to it's in part 5 paragraph 5 so send me your answer please uh, i think uh, your answer is correct uh, what's your name sir umat your answer is correct umat yes hmm answer is correct Thank you. Holding your neck, okay. Shoulders and body correctly. Holding your neck, relax your neck and shoulders, and hold your body tall and lift your chest. This will help you. देखिए यहाँ पे same लिखा हुआ है. Alina, same चीज लिखी हुई है ना यहाँ पे. Relax your neck and shoulders. Hold your body tall and lift your <laughs> chest. As this will help you. किस चीज में help करेगा? Breathe more easily. Breathe more easily. That is correct. So यहाँ पे हम लिख देंगे. Breathe more easily. Breathe more easily. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, if you can understand this far, even five percent, ten percent, it's fine. Okay. Uh, just now, let's move to the next part of the test quickly. That is. Finding true statements. Okay. Um, I don't know if you guys have already solved it or not, but I would want uh, Umat to tell me read statement A and tell me if it's true or false. 
A. Let me look from WhatsApp here. Allowed, please. Okay, yeah, you can okay. open it on your WhatsApp. The modern Olympics began in the 18th of century. Yes, it's true. Uh, can you read the paragraph for me? That is it true that modern Olympics began in 1800s? 1800. The first paragraph throughout history, humans have always run thousands of years ago. They ran to food, hunt food in the 80s. Sports become an important part of children's education. Okay, A is true, right? It's given in here yeah. that in the 1800s, sports became an important part of the children's education after the modern Olympics began later that later that century but the century was same it was 1800s mm -hmm. that's fine okay, okay. Mm -hmm. uh umad read b 40 years ago people generally prefer to watch running than to run okay uh mohan tell me is that true or false 40 years ago mm -hmm. People generally prefer to watch running than to run 40 years ago. And I think this is true. About 40 years ago, watching running races was more popular than running. That is also true. B is also yes. true. Mm -hmm. Okay, now uh, Umat C. Runners have less HDL cholesterol then non runners, it is, is true. Uh, runners have, uh, they're saying runners have less HDL cholesterol. Runners mm -hmm. have more or less? It's given in here, they have given more. Runners given actually, more. Yeah. study show that people who run, this means runners, um, uh, they have more HDL cholesterol that's... that is good fat. Okay. False, sorry. This is false. Do you understand? Yeah. Alina? Yeah. Oh, yes, ma yes ma'am. Are you sure? Yes. Kitni samajari aap? 10%, 20, 50, 60, 100 missing. 60. Samajari. That's nice. That's good. Okay. Uh, so C is false because runners have more HDL cholesterol than non-runners, right? So run, they, you have more HDL. Yeah, they have written less, but they actually have more. Okay, uh, what about D? Uh, two months. Hmm. Endocannabinoids are chemicals that make you feel better. That is true. That is good. They are feel-good chemicals. So we are mm -hmm. going to write D in here. Okay. What do you guys think about E? Running for 30 minutes every three weeks will improve your mood. False. Yeah, I think this is true. Uh, mm -hmm. Anyone who thinks it's true, why do you think it's true? Mm, 30 minutes for run per week for three weeks. Help people sleep better and improve their hmm. running for 30 minutes in fact in 2000 2012 study found that just 30 minutes of running per week 30 minutes of running per week, per week for three Which weeks helped people sleep better and improved their uh, mood. mood so they're saying running for 30 minutes every week Mm. Uh, for three weeks. What do you suggest? Is it three every weeks. week or just per week? We don't have it like every week, actually. We have it like every week is different. You know, per week means mm. individually any week also. Mm. I think this could be false. 
let's just keep it let's just keep it it's a very close one that uh because we don't see the word every week we see the word per week you understand per week yeah per week is very different every week means like mm-hmm. every indiv- like e- every week long lasting <laughs> every 3 weeks every 3 yeah. weeks is very different you know but every... after but after 3 after weeks they they found more uh, sleep more better yeah. they start every week and after 3 weeks they found uh, more yeah. sleep better maybe yes hmm? yes per week mm-hmm. yeah per week it could be any way if you go for like choosing 3 weeks right um uh, but not every week okay they're not mm. they've not mentioned it every week i think let's put it on hold uh, what do you guys think about f running on roads damages the knees more than running on a machine true is that true i think yes mm. this is true let's write yes. that in here this is true Mm. Okay. Uh what do you guys think about uh G you should lean forward when you run This is false This is false mm-hmm. yeah. This is false we'll cross it Uh H do, don't lift your knees when running long distances Yeah this is it's true This is true so The cool. false statements possibly are running for every 3 week will improve your mood no per week you know for 3 weeks it can like you can consecutively choose or you can choose randomly as well right but they have not given the word every week and a b d f h what's your score uh, umar a b d g h a uh, one wrong a my answer is a b d g h Yeah so how many are correct then Um I don't remember The A is true A is true I can mark it again quickly for you uh okay. B A true. is true I see. B is true C is B false is true. Uh, D is false. true. D is true. Yes. F is true, and H is true. And if you have written uh, a one wrong answer, one wrong answer, so you got four points. Okay, now right. this one is the easiest part of the test. Okay, okay. uh, which mm-hmm. paragraph talks about running and emotional health? Paragraph one, two, three, or four. This is one. Um. paragraph 1 no emotional mm-hmm. health also which paragraph talks about emotional health also running and emotional health about mood and about other stuff first paragraph 3 paragraph 3 so we're going to write a in here okay mm-hmm. which paragraph talks about running problems what are the problems with running uh, paragraph 5 Four. No, no. Disadvantages, four. downsides of running. This no. one, paragraph four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, which paragraph talks about the best way to run? Five. Yes, we're gonna write D in here. Which paragraph talks about running to lose weight? I I think none, because no, yeah. We can cross this one. and what what about uh, the health benefits of running two uh two the health benefits. benefits of running that is correct and we are right, we're going to write f in here and what about uh, the next one uh one last reasons to run why do people run reasons to run paragraph 1 paragraph 1 paragraph 1 reasons to run c so the answers are c f a b d yes yes ma'am uh what's your score on math for this section all is true all true congratulations yes. good job 
आई सेंट यू ओके अलीना अब देखिए इतना मुश्किल नहीं है ये आपने कोई सारे मार्क्स नहीं लेने आपने आठ नंबर लेने हैं पास करने के लिए बस आपको पंद्रह में से आठ नंबर चाहिए पहले सेक्शन को पास करने के लिए दूसरे सेक्शन को पास करने के लिए भी बस आपको आठ नंबर चाहिए पंद्रह में से ठीक है हमने वैसे तो अगर कम भी आ जाते हैं एक नंबर अगर और कम भी होता है तो फिर भी लेकिन नहीं वी वुड ट्राई फॉर एट अब जरूरी नहीं है किसी को फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स ही आते हो आपको नहीं आते तो कोई बात नहीं है आप इस वाले सेक्शन में चार चार नंबर ले लें ठीक है जो समझ में आता है उसमें कर लें फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन है तो इस फिफ्टीन के एट हमें लेने पड़ेंगे एट आपने लेने किसी में भी ले लें देखिए किसी के जीरो आ जाते हैं फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स में उनको नहीं आते लेकिन एटलीस्ट वो ट्रू फॉल्स स्टेटमेंट में चार ले सकते हैं चार वो ऊपर वाले में ले सकते हैं ठीक है कोई मसला नहीं है लेकिन आपने आठ लेने हैं क्योंकि हमने एक परसेंटेज okay. बनानी है पास करने के लिए ठीक है ओके मोहन डू यू अंडरस्टैंड यू जस्ट नीड टोटल मार्क्स टू पास आउट ऑफ थर्टी इट्स नॉट डिफिकल्टीन एनी वन कैन से इट्स नॉट हार्ड फिफ्टी फिफ्टी ओनली ओके ना How much minute uh, this paragraph? Uh, this in, uh, like... test is actually two hours long. In two hours, may yeah. you have to also uh, read, write also. Okay. But yeah. my suggestion yeah. is is that on long text reading, spend thirty minutes, and then on okay. multi text reading also spend thirty minutes. Then spend one yeah. hour on writing. Okay. Okay. Uh, so yeah. I'm now I will send you one homework that will that will be your. Uh, What do you call it? Long text reading. ठीक है? वो उसमें long text reading होगा. You can solve it and you could we can meet tomorrow to discuss it. Okay, same time today is morning. Tomorrow morning, like nine to. Yeah, tomorrow morning to... we'll have the same time. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, nine to ten. Okay. If you could wake up early, that would be so nice. I mean, if you could be available like seven thirty, eight, like that. Okay. If you could wake up early, that would be nicer. It's I have no problem because I take five days in you know the day off. <laughs> okay, then see me tomorrow at half past seven in the morning. Okay, thank you. Yeah.